Truckers, what are we gonna drop today, dude? A phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch your marker? Nope. It's over there. Oh. <laughs> we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We're going to draw this. I think this one's going to go pretty fast. So if we ever go too fast in this lesson, you can always... Pause the video. <laughs> yeah, we can, you can always pause the video. And we're going to color them at the end with colored pencils too. So be sure to get some of those. I think it's really cool that we're going to do a phoenix because it's the week before Easter. And usually during Easter time, we're talking about rebirth and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what the phoenix is? Um... <laughs> it's a it's about a bird it's a it's from Greek mythology and it was a bird that would come back to life and usually it had to do with fire and stuff and so the phoenix is really a symbol of rebirth and it also kind of has to do with the sun and fire and stuff and it's really cool looking huh mm -hmm. should we draw them yeah all right let's stop talking okay. ready yeah <laughs> all right Katie we got our sharpies right mm -hmm. we're gonna use regular printer paper and we got two sheets because we don't want it to go through the to the table Okay, let's do this. All right, first step, we're gonna draw his wings coming up like this, but we're gonna draw his head in the middle. So we're gonna draw two lines that almost, that kind of make an A, all right? But not quite. See how they don't touch at the top? And this is gonna be his neck. Awesome, okay. Now we're going to come up and we're gonna draw his head. So we're gonna draw a hook that kind of comes over the top of the left line. And we want some space there because we're going to draw his beak and his mouth. We're going to draw his mouth open right now. So we're going to draw kind of a C, a backwards C shape. Okay. More a V, sideways V. Good. Okay, and then we'll come back down for the bottom of his beak and then go into the neck. Good job. Now we can put the beak line on there. Good, and then we can get his eye in there too. Awesome, okay, now we gotta do the cool part, his wings, so we're gonna draw big lines that come all the way up to the top, okay? We do one on this side. We're gonna take up all the space on our paper, and we're gonna do one on this side. Cool. Is it symmetrical on the both sides, but except its head? Yeah, his head is going to be the part that's not really symmetrical. And they'll be off on both sides. We're not going to worry too much about symmetry because the okay. feathers aren't really symmetrical. Uh -huh. Even though there is some symmetry, the feathers are going to be off on each side, right? Okay. Okay, so now let's do the inside of his wing first. So we're going to come halfway down the line right here. And your head, so your head is a little bit higher on the page. And if we put it, so the next time we draw, if we drew his head a little further down, then his wings will be really big. But you can draw his wings so they come down to like the points, to maybe a point down here. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to draw this part. And we're going to do this kind of fast because it's okay if it doesn't look perfect because these are feathers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. it's okay. It totally is okay. Keep going. How is it looking? No, it's fine. Yeah, I know you're kind of looking back over at my paper, huh? Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. The cool part is that these are feathers, and so they're all messy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's do the other side. And this is what you were kind of meaning by symmetry, but see, I don't really, we're not really caring if it looks perfectly symmetrical. Okay, I'm not counting how many feathers are on this side or how many feathers are on here. It's okay if they're off. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, and now let's draw a V in between right here to connect the two wings. It's kind of a, yeah, that's a sharp one. V. That's all right, it's cool. Now I'm gonna put some more feathers that come down the V like this. Awesome. Okay, now let's do, let's do his legs. And we're gonna do uh, L shape or, well, this one's gonna be kind of a backwards L, but we can do another L on this side, and it's okay if they're off, right? Mm -hmm. And you want a little space in between them. That's okay, you, you can make that work. So, now we're gonna make his claws. So do a little banana shape, his talons, and we're gonna do another one. 
Good. And then we'll do a back, a one going the other direction. Good job. And then we're going to come back to where the, the, L, the bend in that L was. Okay. And then we can do the same on this side. A little banana shape. Second banana shape. And then one going the other direction. Good. Then we can draw that line that comes back to the elbow or the bend in the leg. Hey, now let's do his the feathers that are on his legs. So I'm just doing a zigzag back and forth to connect out to the leg. And that's where I was, if you had spaced out oh. those, then you could put some more feathers in there, but that's okay. Perfect. Okay, now let's, let's do his tail feathers and then we're going to do the last part over here. Uh, or his wings last because that's the fun part. <laughs> it's gonna be super awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we do the bottom tail feathers. So I'm doing big shapes like this and then go back up into his legs. There you go. Yeah. No, that's good. And then you can end it right into his other leg. Good. Hey, now we can fan out these next ones this next layer of feathers a little bit more. Cool. These looks a lot like fire, huh? Mm -hmm. We're trying to make these zigzags kind of look like flames. All right, so now we can come back and let's do a little curl. These are gonna be some longer feathers. We're gonna do one curl, curl there. We can do another curl right here. Good, and then we can do another curl on this side. And one last one, maybe down here. Cool. Hey, now let's do some big feathers. They're gonna kind of look like um, leaves, or like a leaf. These are gonna be cool long feathers that are coming out. So we do a little curved line on one side and then curved line on the other side, almost like you're drawing a tree leaf or a or a leaf on a plant. Mm. Cool. That is awesome. All right, dude, let's do his wings, okay? okay? So these, uh, the, the feathers that we're gonna make on this part of his wing are gonna be really big. So we'll come down, start at that point, Start at that point up here and then come into his wing. And as we go down his wing, we're gonna fan out this way. So we're gonna do another curved line. It comes right next to it. And then draw the second part of that feather. Okay, and then we'll do another one and we're gonna keep fanning it out like that. So we can draw, if we want, we could do the rest, well, let's just keep doing it the way we're doing it. So don't make it confusing. Okay. We'll come out and then I'm gonna keep going. So we're just gonna keep fanning out the feathers as we go down. And that's where they, our art friends can pause it. You guys can pause it if we went too fast and catch up. Hmm. Catch up! And Mustard. Mm, I don't really like mustard. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> cool. All right, now let's go back in. We're going to fill in some of the gaps, okay? So we'll put another line right here, and then we can do a curved line back in, curved line here, and fill in those empty spaces. Cool, dude. Now you can fill in. See this little gap right here? You can put a couple more feathers right in there and fill it in. And then now let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. okay? So we're going to start out here, draw a big feather in for that first one. And then we'll draw another one right next to it. And we're going to fan that out just like we did on the other side. Okay, hey, now let's go in and we'll fill in those empty spaces, okay? Okay. He 
looks so awesome, man. He looks like he's on fire, doesn't he? Yeah. And we don't even have to color him in. <laughs> okay, we should do some more feathers on his head. So I'm going to do a little zigzags that come off the back of his head. And the reason why we are we are going fast intentionally so that our feathers don't look perfect because we can if we do them faster than like trying to make them perfect, then they they won't look as cool and as like on fire, right? Fire kind of moves fast and so our our pen lines are moving fast too. All right, so I'm going to put another kind of bigger feather, two big feathers kind of right after that. Yes, like that. Now, now his head looks like he's on fire. <laughs> we got to color him though. So we got our, we got our color pencils already, and uh, we're using Pr Prismacolor pencils. And we'll leave a link where our art friends can buy these in the description below this video. But if you guys don't have these, you could just use any color pencils. We're using a red, a light red, a dark red, and then a darker red, which is a brown, right? And then also a yellow. And we're going to blend these together to make it look like this really cool fire. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So first step, we're going to get our light, our light red. And we're going to do a lot of shading on this. So we're going to start dark and then go lighter with, with the pressure that we're adding. So I'm going to show you on this first feather what we're going to do all the way down. Okay? okay? So we're going to start dark towards the middle. So in here towards the middle or the... Uh, the inside of the, the uh, wing, we're gonna be really dark in here. And then as we get out to the edge, so out here towards the tip of the feather, we're gonna get a lot lighter. See how I'm pressing uh, with less pressure and it gets almost kind of a pink out there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, the next step that we're gonna do after we do that is we're gonna take our yellow and we're gonna blend the tip of the feather back down. So we're using very heavy pressure and we're gonna smooth out that red. Look at that, dude. That looks so cool. Doesn't that already look like it's on fire? Yeah. Okay, and then what we could have done is not gone all the way to the edge with the red and then it would be even more yellow on the tip. Okay, so once we've done that, so on your feather we can practice, let's practice one more time. We're going to press hard, and then as we get out to the tip of the feather, watch this. I'm not even going to color it in at all with any red. You see that? Mm -hmm. So on yours, that's how this first feather looks, like the whole thing looks red. Is because, So you could even get lighter. See, look? See how that's yeah. just white? Yeah. So when we go back over it with the yellow, it's going to be very yellow at the very end. And that so try one more let's try one more and see if we can get it even closer to what what we're going for okay just like that good job dude mm -hmm. now get the yellow and we'll fill it in and then it'll be yellow on the see how that looks a little bit different yeah yeah so on this feather you can compare this feather to this feather see how this one's almost all red mm -hmm. but on this one it goes to yellow all the way at the very end Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do that all the way across all of those feathers, but before we fast forward it, let's do one more shading. So we got our dark red, okay, or our brown, and at the very, very end, so towards where we did all these little feathers, we're going to do a very dark, so it looks like it's in shadow, and then we can get light again. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we can do we can do one more le uh, layer of the red to blend that dark shading if we want it. Doesn't that that looks super awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and blend that with the red. Yeah, just like that. Good job, dude. Who looks awesome? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Should we fill in the rest of the the feathers? Yeah. Okay, let's fast forward it though. This is gonna take us some time.
Good. You did it, man. Is your hand sore yet? Yes. Because we're not done yet. <laughs> okay, now we're going to use our red again. So our lighter, our lighter red. That one's yours, right? This mm -hmm. one's mine. Okay, and then let's work on his tail. So we're going to start. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to repeat it on all the different parts. So with this tail, we're going to start dark up here where his legs are. And then as we get down here to the bottom, we're going to get very light. Press and not press hard at all. It's just going to press real light all the way down to the bottom, but we're going to start dark up here at the top. Okay? Okay. And then on the next layer down, so the next layer of, of feathers, we'll do the same thing. Start really dark towards the top right here, and then work out and get bright, uh, lighter and lighter. And then even leave white at the very end of the, each feather so that you can color it yellow. We'll start up here, get really dark and light. Same here. Go all the way around. Do all of the tail feathers. All right, dude, we got his tail feathers. Now we're going to do the same thing we're on his legs, okay? okay. So we're going to use our red again, our light red. And we can start up here towards the top of his body. And then we're going to get lighter towards the bottom. And so we just repeated the steps on his tail feathers, right? We did this red, then we went over it with the yellow, and then we did the dark shading with that dark, the dark red. So uh, I'm going to do something a little different though. When I get to his legs, I'm going to color his whole leg in very solid, extremely solid with the, uh, the red, the slight red. We'll do the same on this side too. All right, okay, dude, we got his legs all in. Now let's do these cool feathers that are down here. Okay. So we're going to use our red again. And this this one we're going to do a little different. So I'm going to do uh, straight lines this way. So we're going to, we are going to kind of make this look like a leaf. But, and then we'll do straight lines this way. See that? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the same on, on this side or on all of them, we'll do lines going down one side and then lines going down the other side. And this is gonna look like the texture of the, of the uh, feather. We'll do it on this one and then switch and do it the other direction. And then we'll do it on this one too. Okay, now we're gonna do our yellow over top, the same thing that we've been doing. Cover the whole things, blend it, but you should still see some of those cool lines, that texture for the feather. Okay, and then the last step on these on these uh, funky tail feathers, we're gonna get the dark brown and just do some of that same uh, lines in the same directions, but just towards the bottom of each of the uh, feathers. So it's shaded. Yeah? Okay. Nice. Okay, now we're going to get our red again, and now we're going to finish the, his body. So we're going to start from right about here down. It's going to be pretty dark. So I'm going to do this quick, and I'll show you what we'll do the next part. So I'm going to do a fairly dark uh, shading down here. And then as we get up towards his head, I'm going to come in. Watch this. See the edges on the outside of his neck. You see that? Mm -hmm. We're going to leave it so that this part can be yellow. And then on the inside, we're going to be, oh, we're going to shade and get darker. So the next layer I'm going to put over top, I'm going to press even harder. And then as I go up, through his neck, I'm going to get even smaller. So it's, there's a thinner layer. See how that came in a little bit more? So there's a section in here that's a little bit darker. It's kind of tricky. You can practice it. We'll do this a couple times, huh? Mm -hmm. Good job. That looks awesome. That looks perfect. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work up his his feather, or sorry, his wing, we're going to put a really dark, dark layer right here 
on the edge of his wing, and we'll do the same on this side. Okay? Okay. Let's fill in his wings. And so we're going to start really dark where we had that edge. And as we get out to the tips of the feather, we're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. You see that? Mm -hmm. So right at the very tip, we're going to leave it white. We're going to shade out to the edges. And then we'll do the same on this side. Cool. Okay, now let's go over it with our yellow. And we're going to do the whole thing. Well, we could just blend everything in and make it smooth. And we can start with his head. And then we can come over here and do all of the wings or the little feathers on the inside of his wings. Awesome, dude. Okay, now the last step is I'm taking this light or the dark brown and just adding a shadow or some shading down at the very bottom of his belly and just blending it all the way up so that it, it smooths right into that red. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to do it on yours? Sure. There you go. Chuckers! This one turned out amazing. It really did, dude. Give me five. Was this is this one of your favorites? Yep. It's gotta be because you did such a good job, man. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun drawing this. This, you know what we should do? We could do a blue version of this. Oh yeah. Don't you think that would be awesome? Yeah. It could be this could be the fire version, and we could do an ice version. Or like the hotter. Um... Or the hotter version of yeah. fire, yeah? Is it's blue, good. right? Yeah. I like how you think, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had a ton of fun drawing the phoenix with us. Remember, this is a great exercise to practice your shading, so do it over and over again, yeah? Mm -hmm. And remember, if we did go too fast, you can always pause the video, right? Yeah. Yes. I bet your drawings turned out even more amazing than ours. We want to see a photo of it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so be sure to take a picture and send it to our email address. What's our email address? Myart at artforkidshub.com. Yes, myart at artforkidshub.com. We'll put it right here at the bottom. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Bye.